Han Sai Por is known for her abstract sculptures. Most of them are characterized by organic forms and understated elegance, inspired by metaphors of nature such as plants, seeds and fruits. Her sculptures tend to demonstrate a strong sense of symmetry, patterns and balance, signifying the vitality of life. Sai Por chose an abstract approach for her sculptures in order to bring emphasis to their formal qualities, such as its textures, interplay of space and intricate linear patterns, and bring emphasis to the material of the sculpture, such as the smooth classical marble that exudes beauty and high standards of excellence, and the coarse and hard granite that exudes a commanding yet quiet physical presence, bellying resilience and strength. By allowing the formal and material qualities to shine, Sai Por can communicate intangible subject matter that she is concerned with, such as the vitality of nature's energy, nature's lyrical and nurturing qualities, pessimism towards rapid urbanization that has led to continuous deforestation, the estranged relationship between man and nature in urban environments, and the inescapable duality of life and death. Saipur wants to signify the denatured, divorced consequences of substituting nature with artifice, that is the clearing away of the messy rainforest, and reconstruction of a schematized landscape garden. She observed that the extensive built-up environment in Singapore has adversely affected the continuing survival of native wildlife and plants, many of which have become endangered or extinct. Indigenous species are replaced by imported ones, in order to create the Singapore vision of a well-manicured garden city. Plants are unrooted from their historical wellsprings, leaving many location names that are associated with plants with no signs of those plants in sight, such as Sambawang, Tampanese, and Orchard, creating profound estrangements and severe dislocations. Saipur felt that the new urban environment is very alien, thus wanted to respond to this mass destruction of wildlife and childhood memories. This could be the reason behind the look of her public sculptures, familiar yet alien. They invite urban dwellers to reconnect with nature, yet raise awareness of the highly artificial environment that they are living in today. Saipur uses a variety of natural materials, most of which are stone and marble to emphasize the relationship between nature and man. These materials contrast the physical presence and materials of the urban landscape such as concrete and steel, which has shaped the efficiency-driven urban behavior. The contrasting materials remind viewers to slow down and reconnect with the natural materials that have been veiled by modern materials and contemplate on how we have been living. Saipur's works are interactive as she invites viewers to touch the surfaces and feel the textures, heat, mass and overall raw presence, a way to compel viewers to reinvigorate their relationship with nature, live harmoniously with it, and contemplate on how we are living now against the speed of modern life. The choice of materials also reminds viewers to be environmentally conscious. Every material has its source, and to remove such a monolith requires large acts of violation, digging, drilling and blasting. The violence entailed to remove these materials brings the viewer's attention to the incipient violence in human actions in manipulating the landscape. To what end must nature be sacrificed for humanity's progress? Saipur will first study the environment where the sculpture will stand before deciding on the material. She will then sketch the concept on paper before converting them into a 3D mock-up in clay. Then, she works directly on the material of her choice. She usually chips and carves the material, using power tools to handle large ones. When she hammers, chisels and drills hard stone, Heat, energy and waves of sounds are created, as though the material's inner soul is freed. She believes that her sculptures have an inner life force struggling to get out, and her carving method helps them to be released. The immediate contact is physical, allowing her to understand the character of nature and develop an intimate and sympathetic relationship with the materials. She gains a deeper understanding of the material, such as its surface texture and whether it is hard or soft. This knowledge guides her to develop the work, and helps her keep the material's original identity. The resulting sculpture is a consequence of the creative physical exchange of man and nature, symbolizing a harmonious balance between the two. She finishes the work with painstaking polishing, exuding smooth, sensual lines that are engaging and tactile. Saipur is inspired by her childhood memories of playing in the tropical landscape of Singapore that once existed. She hopes to inspire many, to see and appreciate the often overlooked beauty of nature, and wonder about its place in our lives. She is also inspired by the Chinese philosophy, human beings are part of nature, the environment is important for their survival. In an attempt to inspire urban dwellers to reconnect with nature, she gains inspiration from nature, such as the dense, dynamic and mystical qualities of tropical forests and the beauty of fluid lines and shapes seen in flowers, seeds, roots and leaves. She then translates what she sees into distinctive organic forms, resulting in nature-inspired motifs whose forms are of elegance, beauty and quietness. These formal qualities can easily be found in Chinese ink paintings of natural landscapes and flora, showing the strong influence of Chinese culture. She is also influenced by Western sculptors, such as Michelangelo, whose sculptures are made of precise carving and generating sensual and beautiful lines, and Brancusi, whose abstract sculptures exude poetic simplicity. 
Saipur sculptures are organic, natural in shape and possess a tangible presence. Positive and negative space evolve when intertwined with light, and light and dark areas are juxtaposed to create interesting visual effects. Her works tend to be gentle and soothing, never harsh. The fluid lines are seamless and evoke a contemplative and mellow reaction. These lines are dynamically opposed to the hard material used to create these lines, evoking the dual qualities of nature, rhythmic elegance and powerful vitality. The constant movement of the sculpture's form and texture is a nod to nature's constant evolution and growth, a nod to the energies of the planet constantly in eternal motion through time. While some sculptures are white to emulate a beautiful and elegant life force, catching the attention of unassuming passers-by, others are black, signifying death and decay of bleak landscapes. They bring a stark reminder of the rapidly shrinking natural landscapes that could have an irreversible effect on the climate, and how we are part of the nature that we are destroying, not apart from it.